First things first, when you open the program click the Enable Content button. At any time you can open the admin sheet to view the instructions for the layout tool. quick disclaimer, the tool is used for estimation purposes only, all calculations and layouts must be verified. Read through the instructions carefully, but we will walk through most of the processes within this video. The hotkeys shown here will present the room layouts onto the blank grid page. Let's start by going to the start page worksheet. The first settings to have a look at are the film gap and the wall gap. The film gap is set to 1 inch by default as the film is plugged together and installed close together. The wall gap is set to 6 inches by default as this is the general minimum we want to be away from a wall. You can increase this wall gap to help center a layout into a room if needed. Notice here on the four layouts, the buttons also state what hotkey can be used on the blank grid page. Let's start with the rectangle room layout. Note that the values in green is where you input the measurements. The blue spaces are calculated for your input in the green spaces. Let's enter in 10 feet wide and 12 feet long and click the button. The new worksheet opens up displaying the room layout and the hex heat films within this room. To the right it provides you the total square feet of the room, the percentage of the floor covered by the heating, an itemized list of the films required, the total wattage and the number of zones. You will need to add on the number of cold leads, extensions, thermostats and power modules that you require. You can now print this page, or save it as a PDF to provide to your customer. Make sure in the print settings you scale to fit the sheet to the page. When you are finished working on that worksheet, right-click on the sheet and select Delete. For better performance, it is best to keep open sheets to a minimum. Keeping with a rectangle let's do a two-zone configuration. Enter the room dimensions, to be 21 feet by 15 feet and click the button. On the new sheet you can see it now shows two zones as it requires 3384 watts. You will manually enter two cold leads, and as they are in the same room we suggest one thermostat and one power module. Now let's look at the L-shaped layout. This can be used in a bedroom that has a large entry next to the closet, or for a hallway layout. In this case we will do a bedroom layout. Here is the result, where you were required to add a 2 meters extension, to connect from the bedroom entrance to the rest of the bedroom. Now let's look at the T configuration for a hallway. Here we have a 4 foot wide hallway that is 20 feet long and a 5 foot wide by 12 feet long hallway. This shape provides you with two possible layout options, small T and large T. The small T is broken into two blocks as shown. the large T is broken into three blocks as shown. You will want to consider the thermostat location and extension cables for the best layout to provide for installation. Let's try another T layout that consists of two large areas. As you can see this is broken into two zones. For this application you may want to make note that the vertical films can be one zone and the horizontals another. 
This is an example of why this program is for estimate purposes and you should verify for the best possible installation. Now let's look at the U-shape configuration which will primarily be used for layouts around a kitchen island or around a bed in a bedroom. Let's assume we have a 42-inch walkway between the cabinets and the island. The island is 4 feet deep by 3 feet long. With the U-shape we once again offer two configurations. The small U which is broken down to horizontal and vertical layouts while the large U wraps around the object. Let's look at it with the island that is 4 feet by 8 feet. As the length of the island is calculated, you have to change the length of the upper wall, so let's add 5 feet to make it 15 feet long, and you will see the island is now 4 feet by 8 feet. Click on the large U and you see the film layout wraps around the island. Take into account that a layout like this requires extension cables to be used, so please plan carefully. Now let's visit the blank grid page. Here you can insert a picture of a floor plan and place the created layouts on top of it and scale it to size. To start, go to insert picture from device and browse to your picture of the floor layout and click insert. You can scale this image as needed at any time. Let's work on this master bedroom that is 13 feet by 13 feet 6 inches. Go to the start page and enter those dimensions on the rectangle room layout. Go back to the grid page and press Ctrl R. The layout is now presented on top of your floor plan. Hold Shift and select each film piece and click and drag them as a group to where they reside on the floor plan. Now you can resize your floor plan to fit the scale of the film pieces and this will have the scale correctly set up for continuing with the other rooms. Now let's do the next bedroom, that is 10 feet by 13 feet. Back to the start page, enter these new dimensions. Back to the grid page and press Ctrl R select these films, and move them into position. You can see the scale matches. Let's look at the kitchen. In this floor plan we can do a U shape or a T shape, and in the hallway we have an L shape. Let's enter the dimension for the hallway L shape. Back to the grid and press Ctrl L.
select the film and move it into position. For the other hall into the kitchen let's go with a T-shape. Enter the dimensions provided from the plan and check the layout by clicking the button. Determine which layout works best for your plan, and then go back to the grid and the corresponding hotkey. You have to rotate these to fit the plan correctly. Select the film and click on the rotate icon to rotate it. As you can see, I did not have the measurements quite correct, and this is why it is important to verify your measurements. Some plans are difficult to find or read the correct measurements. We can do the living room and dining room, but they are simple rectangles just like the bedrooms, so let's move on. But if you want to clear all the objects on this grid page, select one object and press Ctrl A. This will select all the objects and press the delete key. Let's look at another set of examples. Here I have loaded a hand-drawn floor plan. This will not be to perfect scale, but we will do our best with what we have. Again, to determine the scale as best as we can, let's start with a simple bedroom and scale the plan to best fit. Now let's do the living room that is 24 feet 10 inches by 10 feet 8 inches. Oops, we got an error. If you get this error it is most likely because the room exceeds the maximum measurements for our calculator. Press N to clear the error message. The max length we can use in this calculator is 23 feet on the rectangle. So in this case we need to break down the living room into two rectangles or one smaller one to fit the center of the room, consider the application here. For now I will change the size to 23 feet. Again on the grid page press Ctrl R to insert the layout, select the films and move them into position. The calculator returned rolls that are 6.5 meters long, but I know from the layout that a full 7 meter roll will work, so you can manually scale the film to 7 meters and modify the text to show the full 980 watts. Let's quickly finish this floor plan for the middle bedroom of 9 foot 6 inches by 11 foot 5 inches. Back 
Back to the grid, Control R and position the films into place. If you want to add the thermostat location and the cable extensions onto the drawing you can do this by inserting shapes and lines on top of the floor plan. For the thermostat, insert a scare and draw a small box to represent the thermostat. Insert a lean to represent the cable leads and extensions. You can also insert text boxes if you want to add notes, comments, or labels on the drawing. When you are finished you can print and save as a PDF just as you did earlier.